In order to draw somebody uh, accurately, you have to be thinking very fast and uh, concisely. And in, in a type of routine, hard to describe, uh, you can't just sit there and lazily draw away. It's not like painting a landscape. There have been such a variety of cases over the years. The latest is the case of um, Magnata, as you can see behind me. Uh, a portrait of him. Uh, so it's, uh, it's been very exciting, very difficult, very uh, uh, amazing. A friend of mine, when he called me at night, he said, uh, Mike, uh, there seems to be on the blogs, people want to see what Magnata looks like and more, more detail, and I hadn't put much effort into it because there's so much time involved in trying to get the likenesses of each person in the room. And when you're working on a very small head, it takes a lot of time and it's very tedious and and tiny, and I use binoculars to see people. So I concentrated on Magnata alone. And uh, this is the drawing I did <clears throat> that next morning. As you can see, his eye is looking over the glasses. Very important, but it, with, without the binoculars, it was hard to tell how much of the iris was above the upper, upper frame of the glasses and what was below, so that was very important to um, be able to capture that. One of the most memorable experiences was uh, doing the, uh, the court cases of the Hells Angels. One day I'd, I'd uh, fallen and scraped my cheek so it, had, uh, it looked like I'd been beaten up or something. So when, when I went in the courtroom, they were talking to the lawyers. The lawyer came over and she said, uh, they want to know what happened to you and what they can do. I said, uh, I said no, everything's cool. I, I tried to emulate that I fell down some stairs, this type of thing. And uh, it was hilarious because they were so interested in my well-being.